I used to think that this little story might help me launch a career as an Arthur illustrator, but that may not be the most important thing. Sure, I would have liked to have been able to finish this and maybe publish it with a traditional publisher, but I think we should just tell the story. While making this presentation, I realize that this video in people's hands, even with just diagrams, may be able to do as much good as an actual book on the shelf. Because this summer, more children and adults are going to drown in rip currents. This book won't help you against every rip current because some are more dangerous than others, but I think it's important to do what we can with what we have. And I hope you like my story. Boys and girls, can you think of why it might be dangerous to swim by yourself? The Turtle Turn by John Gustafson Before they had feet, before they had legs, they slept and slept in a nest of eggs. The turtle nest was alone by the water and next to a blue bottle. Under the sand it was quiet and calm. Under the sand it was cozy and warm. They loved their home, but they could not stay. When sea turtles wake up, it is moving day. Without any father and without any mother, there was one sea turtle awake before any other. He did not know that he might be lonely. With all his might, he bounced straight for the sea, noisily, happily, and full of glee. All around and over all, a baby turtle is rather small, but swimming alone, all on one's own, that is worst of all. The tiny turtle did not see the sand castle out of reach, or many things along the beach. Look, boys and girls, can you see the tiny turtle? The artist doesn't have the picture finished yet, and the turtle is very tiny. You have to look real close and down by the blue bottle. Can you see it? Boys and girls, can you see the little sand castle on the beach? Oh look, it has little green flags and there's a green bucket to put the sand in. What else can you see along the beach? Is that a little bonfire and a red umbrella? I wonder if they are going to be important. Suddenly, down in the bottom dregs, below the surface so still, and in the calm between the waves, the ocean pulled strongly on the land. Water went out past the turtle's legs, and the sea ripped away the sand. He bobbled and wobbled and was deeply troubled. Look, boys and girls, can you see what's different about this picture? Is it seen from a different place? A different angle? Can you still see things along the beach? Can you see the turtle in the water? Which way is he looking? Does he look as happy as he was before? What's that in the water? Is that something watching the turtle? Is there something purple way off in the distance? What could that be? Look boys and girls. Can you see the moon up in the sky? This story must be happening at night time. Do you think that it might be even harder to see the beach in the dark? His flippery feet could not touch the bottom, and to be alone was a real problem. The tough tide took him away, and there was nothing he could say. Some turtles go inside, that is how they are made. But sea turtles cannot hide when they are afraid. It's not that they are ignorant, sea turtles are just different. The little turtle did his best. He turned back to the blue bottle and swam for his nest. He was swimming alone in the deep while his brothers and sisters were still asleep. It's not good to swim alone, is it? Especially for people. Boys and girls, 
Can you see his flippery feet underneath the water? This is just an unfinished drawing. But can you see the turtle looking back at the nest? Does it help to know that the nest is next to the blue bottle? He bobbled to rest, but saw over a crest. He looked and stared. He was surprised and scared. He thought he was swimming in the right way, but he was farther to see and farther away. In a panic and in a hurry, he went faster and in a scurry. He wanted to go back to where he was happy, but it could not be done with flippers flappy. It could not be done in a busy frenzy. All the kicks in the hardest whack would not work to get him back. Can you see how the beach looks different from a different place? Is this the other side of the sandcastle? Now, is the beach moving? Or is the water moving? What do you think, boys and girls? Even though he was born to swim, the strong water really had him. He was thinking and thinking while trying to stay still. He saw that he was drifting and sliding against his will. The water pulled him out to sea, but also down the beach. His old home was harder to see. What could he hope to reach? Look, can you see the octopus? What about the shark? Is this picture seen from a different place? If it was a photograph, maybe the photographer was on a boat. What do you think, boys and girls? Where is the blue bottle? Are some things getting smaller? How small is the blue bottle? He needed to save strength, for sure, or he would never reach the shore. He could have floated on his back, but turtles don't like to do that. He made a little correction to work with the flow. He turned in a new direction, careful, calm, and slow. Can you see the turtle going in a new direction? It looks like the picture is also from a different direction. Does it help to see things from a different place? What do you think, boys and girls? He went into the waves. They hit him sideways. But more of the beach began to appear, as if the sandy shore was coming near. The new way of swimming seemed to be working, and the turtle thought about sharing some fun. He wanted to be smiling, he wanted to be smirking, but he was far from being done. Can you see the little starfish? Does it look like it's waving hello? Could it be a friend or a foe? Do you see the purple boat? It seems a lot bigger than when he was by the blue bottle. Do you think he's a long, long way from home? The tiny turtle came out of the water near a big purple boat. He wanted to celebrate, scream, and yell, but he dare not speak a turtle's note. There was danger in this meeting. It was more than just the smell. Talking birds spoke of eating tasty turtle in its shell. Can you see the little sand dollar on the beach? Beyond the squawking birds, there was still a very long way to go. He passed quietly behind on tippy toe, going quick and fast, but also kind of slow. Boys and girls, this picture is looking in a totally different direction. Can you see that this might be a long distance for a little turtle? At the red umbrella, he was stopped in his track. Something had him from behind his back. It was not the birds nabbing, but it was a crab grabbing. This baby crab was very red, 
with strong claws and an ugly head. The crab wanted to be the winner to kidnap a turtle and eat him for dinner. With all his strength, he broke straight away. He scurried, he scrammed, he ran, he certainly did not stay. Boys and girls, is this important about how he escaped from the crab? Is this something that children on land need to know? Maybe not at the beach, but in other places? He left the crab far behind, where it was bad and was not kind. The sand was burning hot because a fire was near the spot. He did not feel the blazing heat because of the quickness of his feet. He started to get tired. He wanted to dawdle. But then he saw the blue bottle. He hurried past a castle, straight to the nest. It was one more hassle and one last test. Do you remember the bomb fire? Do you think the turtle moved faster because of the crab? What happened to the blue bottle? Is it getting bigger again? Finally, after his swim, and because of where he had already been, he now had something to say. Wake up! We cannot stay. Today is moving day. Never swim on your own. We have each other, and we are not alone. He taught them all to save their strength, and they swam the water in all its length. The End No one likes delay or even to wait, but sometimes the better way is to go with a flow or to go around instead of straight. Did you see the baby turtles behind the blue bottle? He had a lot of brothers and sisters, didn't he? Do sea turtles have big families on the beaches? Even though we are not sea turtles, do you think we should swim alone? Do you think that's why we have lifeguards on the beach?